guys doing today? Um, we are here <laughs> finally doing what you've all been asking for. Everybody's been telling us, when are you guys going to do a YouTube channel? When are you going to do a YouTube channel? Um, I don't know if you guys got to see Israel's Snapchat. Yeah. But that's where everything started. Everybody was like, oh my God, on 4th of July, we went out to go see the fireworks. But we were like, you know what, let's go get some tacos at that at that like um but that's not the way it started like the way it started is because we were supposed to go see the fireworks right. because apparently one of our friends her name is brenda, brenda. and she had, hey, told brenda. Us, <laughs> she had told us hey guess what guys um well there's gonna be a taco stand um at dan san Duas park in McAllen. so me and brenda <laughs> and sandra i ended up texting brenda i'm like hey brenda is there gonna be a taco truck there like, are you sure are you a hundred percent correct because we ain't gonna park real far away and walk like two miles to get to that <laughs> place and there ain't no food girl yeah because i'm hungry <laughs> and i had to hear that yes. so at the end of the day we ended up going i'm like i don't want to walk that far me neither and i had a feeling they were only gonna have maybe like about maybe two taco trucks maybe, maybe. three but we Knowing, had also, man, we were just hungry. So yeah. at the end of the day, we ended up just taking off. We were, yeah. like, we were like, you know what? Let's just go eat somewhere else. Let's go to a restaurant. So as we were going down downtown, we decided to just pass through where supposedly all these food trucks always park because we never got to make it over there because uh, Israel, Israel's always working or yeah. we're always busy or whatever. But there was there was like a lot of little trucks there and we're like dude, dude we it was like li hells yeah it was like freaking little mexico but yeah. in the usa so Israel even though decided, we're just across the border like it's like just across the border with the, like the corner little peas in texas down there like with the stand, little tiny piece but long story short Israel was like let's do this and let's <laughs> snapchat it and he's like Hey, let's Snapchat like that guy from YouTube. There's this guy that we follow. We, we really love him. He's always traveling everywhere. Do you remember Talking his about name? food. Yeah, his name is Mark Weens. Yes! Shout out to Mark Weens. Go check him out. Well, anyways, um, I showed Israel his YouTube. I'm like, dude. dude, you need to see this guy. This guy goes to these places and the food is awesome. It was like watching like food porn. It was so good. So Israel's like, Oh my God! The way he's the way he says like the like, food and the way he makes you hungry, make, makes, makes you want to just eat. It just so, makes you want to like, oh my God! I want that experience. So Israel was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, okay. I'm like, okay, let's do it. So he's like, well, then you order different stuff and I order different stuff and we'll talk about that. <laughs> so we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. So we did it, and then um, well, along the way, on our way, then from there when we were done, we were still invited to a barbecue, okay? And yeah! We, and we, we have, we have a, in, in our little squad, we have a friend who is an awesome cook, and her husband's yep. an awesome barbecuer, dude. Yes. This guy, He would travel awesome. anywhere. Yeah. Alexander said that day, <laughs> around the whole world. Yeah, because he was, because this was saying, Dude, this guy he travels to places and gets different um, flavors of seasonings because he's also a truck driver and he travels like here and there and I go he travels around the world and it was just awesome and then we were just cracking jokes and it was just great so a lot of you guys responded to our, our you know our Snapchats, Snapchats and you guys were sending messages like, like hey, hey you guys should start like a uh, like yeah. a channel or yeah. like do something well I have some topics I'm gonna start and talking about, and some of those topics I'm gonna bring into this table is gonna be first of all, some of the stuff that I do in my barbering field, which is like skincare, which is like men stuff. But we'll jump into that later. Yeah. So for right now, this is a little intro into what we're gonna be doing um, so far. So see our, we hope we get some viewers out there. Stop looking at, our, start looking at our stuff and. Yeah. You know, check us out. Hopefully you but like what you see. let me tell you a little story. Like, do you remember what happened last time when, what was it, yesterday or the day before? Yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. Oh I'm my tell you God, guys. So, dude. So we're going to start off our YouTube channel talking about something hilarious that happened yesterday. Um, well, it was hilarious and it was creepy and it was like weird. So let's just jump into that. Mexicans, first of all, first of all, let Wait, me let you guys know. Well, Mexicans live in myth. Yeah. A lot of Mexicans live in superstition men. Like, like well, oh, the, the cat cross with the seven crosses. Yeah, stuff so, like that, you know? 
Like, if they see a black cat crossing the street, they start or either... Or spider. Uh, they start, like, I mean, no offense to any religion, but they start to say all these prayers. Yeah. Because they bad luck. And, you know, we're not here to offend nobody. But it's just, like, some people are really it's superstitious. Like, what? So, yesterday, Israel, Israel had uh, told me, hey, uh, he's like, hey, I'm here. Come up at the door. Blah, blah, blah. So, I... So I leave my bedroom and along the hallway, I have the lights off and all that stuff. I'm walking towards the door, but I can barely see with the window light. And I saw something starting to flapping around and it was black. I'm like, what the heck is this? What, what the, what's going on? What's going on? So I, I quickly open the like, door. She's like, it's a bat. Like, I, I thought it was a bat. And I go, hurry up, hurry up. So I unlock the door and I turn on the light. And, and dude, it was so beautiful. It was a big, big Huge. black moth. Black moth. Yep. Now, if you're Hispanic, I mean, I've, I've heard lots of Hispanics talk about this. Yes. They say that if, you, if... She even went out crazy calling all of them and being yeah. like, guess what, girl? Guess friends. what, girl? Yeah. This happened. I'm like, Israel, guess what? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I think I know the story behind this. Yeah. Like, I've heard it a billion times. Yeah. But so if you... It, I've heard that if you get a white moth, visit your home, that a white moth is, is letting you know, you know, a wedding is yeah. coming soon or something. And if you get a black one, I've heard that it's death, you know, coming soon or something like that, you know. So those are just superstitions and myths and stuff like that. But still, I have friends who who are really into stuff like that. So I call my friend. I'm like, dude, I took a picture of the moth and this and that. <laughs> oh, mind you, while I'm trying to tell my friends. I actually have the picture. Let me show it to you. While I'm trying to tell my friends about it, Israel is freaking the hell out. He's over there like. I started throwing like close to it i'm trying to like he was trying like, to ninja fight it yes dude i All was I hear, going crazy i was like dude uh, i cannot even go get my keys i need to leave i need the wax machine i, I, I was like then, oh my god and then i'm over here talking and talking and then i hear like you know when your mom gets pissed off at you and you slam the door and she had threw you a chancla dude <laughs> i heard that she was like oh man i'm like it's the vato what are you doing so i'm like and then she's like what's going on i go it was over there having a heart attack because of the because of the mom they tried to kill it and then she's like no don't kill it someone's gonna it's gonna leave it alone so this is the moth. i don't know if you guys can see it but oh you probably can't see it let me see if i can make it brighter but anyways um it was really pretty it looked like a bat it looked like a bat it was literally like seven inches long it's yeah. so beautiful but anyways um that so, was crazy so then i went to see my friend that night i left it alone so i went to see my friend that night and we were talking about it she's like well yeah you know i have a friend who who she does believe in it because her she lost her parents soon after they saw one of those look can y'all so see you that you guys can barely see that but that's in the corner of a wall of, of the you that know, was the huge i'll try to make it large so you guys can really see it look at that it's it's Pretty big huge dude yeah so anyways that's crazy Hell, no. So, anyways, oh, so she chills. told me, yeah, she told me all that. I didn't really get scared of it. I think it's really pretty, you know, all that stuff. But I mean, it is kind of, and I've always wanted to see one, so I was really excited that I finally got to see one, and it was in my house. So, anyways, I mean, not for the death part. But I just wanted to see what it looked like. So then, I was thinking about that all night long, whatever. So today, I was in the restroom, you know, doing my thing, and I just said, decided to Google where do these huge black uh, moths come from. So this is what I got. I was telling Israel, Israel, I came running like crazy, yeah. like crazy to the to the bedroom to tell him because he was visiting me. So I told him, hey, Israel, guess what? He's like, what? I go, look at what, what this says. Oh, by the way, let me just give you guys some information. As of four days ago, I have lost my vision. I mean, like I'm talking about, I used to be able to look at my phone like this and just read it like anybody else because I had 20-20 vision. Now I can't. I have to hold it like this to yep. see it. So I went right away to America's Best. <laughs> I need glasses, so it's hard for me to see. But anyway, so, so I'm gonna read it to you, but I have to hold it like out here. It says black witch moth. They're called black witch moths. Um, it says um, they're large, they're bat-like, and they're harmless. Okay. It says um, the moth apparently has a long history of inviting itself. Um, interestingly, in the of inviting itself, I guess inside of people's homes, and interestingly. In the Caribbean, the black witch moth is known as the money moth. Money moth? What? Did you hear that? Money moth! Anyways, so it says, and if it visits your home, That's freaking you crazy. are likely to come into some cash. And it says, here in South Texas, some so believe... So is this like the white version of superstition? Well, I don't know because... <laughs> I don't know because look what it says. It says, here in South Texas, 
Some believe it's a black witch moth. Most old, mo, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's because like I can't really read, remember? Um, it says, here in South Texas, some believe if a black witch moth root, uh, what does it say? What does that word say? I can't see it. Roost. Roost. Over your door. Roost over your door. I guess if it goes over your door, you will win the lottery. So guess what? Well, I think that thing was going over your door because I was trying to fight it. No, no, no. It was actually, like, it was near the door. When I was going towards the door, that's when it started flapping. Oh, yeah. So I was that like, was what? super weird. So I told Israel, dude, <laughs> do you think it's true? I mean, it could be superstition, right? So guess what? You guys are going to go along with us to find out is it true or is it not true? We're going to go later on to go buy the Powerball lottery ticket. But when is this tickets. lottery ticket going to be? Like, where, where, I'm coming where, to where, that. Well, I just found out. I don't even pay, play the lottery. But I found out that the lottery, <laughs> is, the, lo, the, ball, the Powerball lottery is worth $223 million at the moment. And Damn. tomorrow is when they're going to announce winners, if there's any winners. So why not put it to the test? Why not go later on and go to go get, go get some tickets? Yeah. And let's yeah. see. I mean, why not, so, right? Do you guys want to come with us? What What would I buy if I won? What What What, 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 what do you want? You want me to buy you something? Hmm. <laughs> you want me to just buy you a Happy hmm. Meal or something? Uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, we should try this. We should try this, and you guys should like witness this. So I think that's what we're gonna I do. I think what I would do, I would pay my whole school, dude. Like. There, if, I don't think it but, would I mean, be $223 million, maybe, but if I did... Maybe I'll even open a school. Hmm. If, it's just so many things, but... If I do... Hmm. Let's oh. just say... Why don't you just comment below and let us know. Maybe there'll be some type of cash giveaway for the subscribers and followers if I win. <laughs> Bitch, if you win, you're gonna make. Oh, oh, if you heard that. You heard that. So, so we'll see. We'll see. You guys know. Okay, guys. So we're gonna let you go, and then we're gonna take you guys with us to go to the store and go get some tickets. Okay. So that's gonna be second part. Okay. okay, you guys. I'm here at Skype, so I'm about to buy my tickets. It's kind of late, so let's hope you do still sell them. Okay. okay guys. Bye. because I am a newbie, but I promise you, soon I will be doing all that. Yeah, she needs to lose enough, guys. Yeah, like, can, can you guys help me out there? I'm can sorry. you guys help me out there? Like, I'm not like Mark for... Wiens. I mean, Israel, the barber. <laughs> I'm not like him. Oh my God. <laughs> no, but I, I will be, just just you wait. But anyways, um, here's the Powerball tickets. Damn. So, yeah. Let's see if so, we win. Let's see if I we mean, win. Am I gonna get that? What you promised earlier, guys? Remember what you promised. Like, so. uh, I don't know who you're talking to or who promised you what, but if I win, um, I don't even know if I know you anymore. Wait, what? Uh, just kidding. Sure, I'll buy you a Happy Meal. No, no, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> even if I just win a dollar, hey, even if I win a dollar, it's part of the lottery. That it was that part of was it. Right. So let's see yep. if the myth of the moth is true. Yeah, let's see if it's going to be true. So, since it's already late, it's night time. We're not going to find this out until tomorrow. So, so tomorrow we're stay gonna... tuned for tomorrow. Part yeah, okay. Two. Part two. And thanks for joining us. Peace. I hope you guys liked our first video ever done, like, so. for YouTube. Um, please subscribe to us so you guys can see what happens tomorrow. Comment remember, below. Yeah, remember, if I win... I might make a little cash giveaway for my subscribers to enter and we'll see who wins. So go ahead and leave us a comment below for me or for Israel. It doesn't matter. Ask us questions if yes. you want. What do you want to see? And make sure you click also on the little bell so every time that we post something, it'll let you guys know. Okay? Yeah. So until next time, I'm Sandra. Right. And Israel, the barber. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye. Bye.